Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch the first episode of the second season of March Comes In Like a Lion today and I'm quite curious to see what will happen during um, this season since uh, the first one was already so good and I absolutely loved uh, all of the development and everything that they implied with um, a lot of those moments um, and uh, overall it's just... Um, been really enjoyable to see uh, like um, how many things uh, uh, like have been happening in terms of uh, like this development with Ray and many of the characters so pretty much seeing uh, their journey and uh, everything that they had to deal with um, and uh, I wonder where this is uh, going now so I'm just uh, of course hoping for the best I'm not too sure about uh, uh, which things um, everyone is going to um, accomplish by the end of this story um, and uh, I'm also not sure if there's going to be some new characters during this season so definitely excited to um, start this um, first episode and find out more about uh, this amazing story so hope you guys are ready and I started. Also curious about the opening. I'm not too sure if they're only going to play it by the end of this episode. It's like, it's usual for them to do that during the first episode. Hmm. That better weather. Eighteen. It wasn't 18 yet, right? Oh, they're playing it now! Damn, I'm really loving this vibe. The drums and the guitar. Okay then. <laughs> Just walking on water. <laughs> oh damn, this frame. Really cute. That was a really beautiful opening. It was really like, cheerful. A bit like the previous opening, but I know it was like a bit different. Oh, he's in this in the club already. <laughs> oh, it's the first one. It was really nice to see this, them helping each other, both clubs. I mean, it's never pleasing to lose. Oh. 
<laughs> yep. It's like a true mind game. Hmm, here comes the cats again. <laughs> it's really funny how they show it like this. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it comes with experience playing and playing. <laughs> And this was basically his intention when he wanted Ray to start this club. <laughs> he has a point. And he lost. Man, this teacher is really fun. I mean, it's how people say you learn more when you lose than when you win. Because when you win, you think you did everything right, so you don't look into it. But when you lose, you can see like what you did wrong and learn with it. Well, that Ooh. yeah, it's been a thing. It's like he feels like he has to do it, he has to play Shogi to achieve his, his goals, eventually. Yeah, about having fun. Mage in battle? Someone is watching TV, I guess. It's them. Hmm. I 
And he's been seeing... He's been seeing others, like, going through these roll coasters of emotions. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, that's a good question. That goes back to how I still want to learn a lot more about him. Oh, he's actually... Wait... Are they implying that he's going to lose? Wonder, considering what they were saying before, like, what would be on his mind if he lost? Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. This is already quite interesting. Already going into a situation with Soya. That looks really good. Okay, then. It's quite different from what I've been seeing. Usually, there's only people drinking and stuff to hydrate. This guy is just eating sweets, like... <laughs> getting that energy, I guess. Just like that. Yep. Yeah, that was like out of nowhere. Hmm. That's pretty much what crossed my mind. It was like getting that energy to to fool his brain pretty much.
Is that tea? Not too sure. <laughs> I mean, it's an important detail. Everything that helps your brain work better. Oh, that was booze. <laughs> Pure glucose. Hmm. Damn. This moment. It's interesting to, to see how he relies on those a lot. Yeah, that's probably not good for your else if you consume it too often. They science. Who made Ramune? What is that? Oh, I guess it's pretty much those those cubes. And Ray is really <laughs> excited. Just like that. Hmm, he's going to feel that boost. It's going to be really fun for Roy to experience all of these, like something outside of Shogi. 
and he's already enjoying it a lot, so that's pretty nice. It's like blending perfectly with these guys. I don't even know if I can do that myself. I don't think I ever tried. It shouldn't be that hard, but sometimes it could be a lot harder than I think. Hey, he's finally having a great time here at school. Really loving this moment. Hmm. I wonder if he's going to... Share some with the three sisters, maybe? Oh, this! He's already thinking about it. That's really nice. I mean, we can already see a big difference in Ray since everything started. It's like they always know when he's <laughs> about to get there. And it's so... So enjoyable to see this. It really warms my heart to see... I'm experiencing these really happy moments. And finally having some fun while doing these things. The ending though. It's a really chill song. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of meaning in this ending, the way they portrayed everything. 
They're still going to show them tasting it. <laughs> the cats. And these even. I really love this detail about it. I'm guessing there's a... Yeah, there's previews now, so I'm going to skip those. Um, but it's it's really nice to see this, how... He is now in this uh, science club. He just learned how to do uh, that um, Ramon, I believe. Um, and um, like he had so much fun while doing it. He, he, like, he started experiencing things that um, he, he hadn't before. So it was, of course, like... I don't know how to put it, but like a shock to him, but in a good way, because he finally uh, realized that uh, he was having fun. Um, and then uh, he decided to give some of those to those three scissors. And uh, it's like, um, I don't know, it's like he learned with the science club and now he's passing that knowledge to um, uh, the others. So it's, it's just really nice to see it happening. It going from person to person and just uh, expanding um, the knowledge. So that was definitely really awesome to see. And uh, also pretty interesting to see... Um, that moment with Soya, so apparently he's against uh, uh, this uh, other guy, and I'm assuming that he's also uh, really good. Um, but um, something um, made me really curious. So there was um, this teacher talking with the guys from the science club, and they were talking about um, how losing a match can be like really bitter, uh, especially when uh, uh, you are um, like a better player, so of course uh, the better you become, um, the the harder it will be for you um, uh, to lose. Uh, but um, then uh, this teacher was talking about Soya and wondering uh, how he would feel if um, he lost um, a match, considering how good he is. So then they proceeded to show like Soya participating in this match, so it instantly crossed my mind that they might be implying uh, here that he is going to lose um, this match, and then we will be able to see uh, like his reaction and pretty much uh, how uh, he would deal with um, like being defeated. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too sure if that's going to happen or not. But again, something um, to think about. Um, and yeah, just. Uh, Really can't wait to see what is going to happen during uh, the next uh, episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.